Oh! Have it started? It has? Wow. I mean, is it this war that's currently happening in Britain? Yeah. yeah, but like... So, we have Sunset Invasion. Mm. From, the, from the land of the rising sun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we see here we have Mexico, we have Inca, I think, yeah, here's the United States. They're... I mean, though it's e it's easy taking if they're just going for. But if they um, get the British Isles as mm. a base, oh wow, they're mustering up a so, counterattack from the European side. Mm. They have been banished from Europe for a reason, and now they're back to claim what they <coughs> think is rightfully theirs. God, this, the light, I'm allergic to light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a game person, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, so they, they're building up again their army. They also have a bunch of pirates just hanging out here. Privateer with a mission to privateer over here. So uh, probably not that much friends with Mamluks. But like if it's gonna be a sunset invasion, but let's focus they have on, to, yeah, let's focus on the sunset yeah, invasion. They have to they have to actually land in Europe. I mean and you have Brabant is ready to, and the Netherlands are ready to defend their coastline. So it would require them to somehow get past that. Uh, oh, there's an engagement now. Oh, the question. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Here we see. We so see. the Mexico... So uh, Brabant has more ships, but Japan has a little bit of an edge when it comes to their morale. Yeah, but, but the they're Mexico's not covering their entire reinforce. engagement with. No. They're not uh, covering their entire engagement with. There so we go. Oh. There. Yeah, Brabant wins. So no, Mexico. No, too late. No. Too late. No, no. No. This is how you lose ships. Yes. Uh, yes. Th this is not gonna be a good uh, sunset invasion. Now the Japanese they are going in. No. Uh, what is going on? Oh, they peaced. They peaced. What? So they gave up their sunset invasion. Did they take anything? Yeah, they took uh, some pieces in uh, Britain, which I wow. think this is borderline. A sunset invasion. There it's has to be. There has to be something on main Europe. Merely scratching on the surface of a sunset invasion, if you ask me. They could have done so much more. Did the U.S. get anything in U.K.? Yep, they got a piece of Geldon. No, no, no. That is an ally. Mexico got that. United States got uh, Northern uh, Ireland. Yeah, so this might be just the first part of the plan. Yeah. Trying to get a foothold in Europe before bringing everything they have. Mm. But now now they've showed their hand. Blue Flames? Khmer is fighting against Nepal? Mughals. Mughals is attacking Nepal. Are they truce breaking? Uh, Khmer is fighting against Mughals. And Qing is also attacking. They are pretty much... I think Khmer has and uh, Nepal has just given up at this yes. point. They're surrendering, they're like releasing nations. Yeah. Oh, um, we do have we uh, we have the the uh, the conquista. The reconquista. Please join us. Please join us. Re reconquista of what? Look at Europe. Look at religion. Look yeah, at I know. I know this. Yeah, I see. I, I, we have already noticed that. Hope it's enough. Ah. So, what is going on? First of all, are you actually a priest? Yes. Are you a Catholic priest? I am. And you've been playing the papal state? I have. All right. So you now use the uh, will of God to uh, convert these pagans to follow the true faith again. Yes, I spent 300 years in the jungles of the Andes, surviving and subsisting solely upon Yerba Mate. But then we have come, and our time has come now. And to avoid malaria, we took up gin as our national drink. <laughs> and so as a result, knights have decided to become the Gintonian order. We have arrived, gentlemen. We have arrived. We arrived. And we will rise. To free gin, to Catholicism, to world domination. <laughs> so Amen. This, this is a declaration against the rum. Mm, well, we like room, not but rum is very good too. But we'll see what they may have to give up later. Oh. There's a particular place there which has a um, certain province, some holy sites, if you yes. will. Yes. Yes. You're talking more in this direction? Mm, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been there before, and we will go there back again. 
That's wow. why it's called Reconquista. So this is a declaration to all the other players that the Catholics are back. The Catholics are back and best, better than ever. All right. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. To the Gentonian order. To the Gentonian order. To the true faith. To the true faith. To the true faith. Deus Volt. Deus Volt. Deus Volt. There is actually a player in Papal States. Huh. Yes, yes there is. <laughs> there is. <laughs> All right, so oh, this... Oh, actually, Rum is in a war again. Oh, this time with, with Italy. Italy. We wow. missed that now. But, oh, wow, Italy is really punching in. They are. Look at that morale. And that morale, yeah. There's equal and discipline. Oh, and Rum is losing almost 10,000 troops in a tick. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, the, is this a mano and mano war? It I, seems so. I uh, let's see. Yeah, it is. It's a mano wow. and mano war. All right, so I think that the players have... Uh, Decided to do that in Europe at least. Yeah, I mean, I, I assume they want to test their strength. Yeah. How many Romes are there? I mean, there's Rum, there's Constant Con Constantinia, there is Rome, Roma, and, and then, then we have a small, small village on Gotland called Roma. Oh, you do? Yes. Cool. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> what is the war over? Italian reconquest of Bosna. So they're gonna take back their core from here. Probably. Uh, and we I'm, have another I'm, battle. Uh, yes. But yeah, it's not looking pretty for. Uh, even though like they're doing a lot of damage on uh, Italy, the fact is that Italy just have mercenaries, so they just refill them immediately. There seems to be have a disease outbreak in the streaming area. Now, Blond is also shaking his leg. What? The whole platform is just vibrating of these two fine gentlemen shaking their legs in a furious speed. <laughs> Don't tell the stream about me shaking my leg. How am I supposed to get you to stop? Yesterday I put my hand on your leg and you called me sexual predator. <laughs> Do you want me to write you a note? Or should I just, like... Sir, man, make him stop to shake his leg. Hey, Groovy! <laughs> Who's Groovy? <laughs> but yeah, no. Oh, and now they're getting kicked back so hard they're even fleeing into Anatolia. No, I think this war is pretty much lost for them. Income, please. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Hey. I want to show you Where's something your fun. Oh, it's just right there. I want to show you something. Look at Australia. This Australia? Yeah, and look at our money. Send look at to, our uh, income. Yeah, look at all these spoils of war. 31 ducats. So here is the new venture we launched. We go to a nation, we say, can we get fleet basing right? They say, yes. And then we privateer them. Like, we don't have the range for this. We ask them for two decades of fleet basing rights, and then we use that fleet basing rights. Literally, we come to the airport, and then we hoist the black flag and take the money and get the fuck home. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it everywhere. We've done it in Japan, in Malaya, in, uh, in, uh, in, in the Netherlands, in... Uh, in, in Persia and in, uh, in Mayward, and nobody's the wiser. <laughs> so we're having a good time. And we're building even more boats, and we're taking the ID to get privacy efficiency. <laughs> we so I want to take a, a <clears throat> moment to, uh, to self-promote my new right. clothing line uh, that I've been working hard on throughout the, uh, the uh -huh. three days uh, that has been going on. So. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt, uh, buy this one. Okay. We're waiting for it to be shown on stream. <laughs> oh. Keep talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, no, 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 so the question, are you actually selling this or is this just a joke? If we can get a poll on how many <laughs> would like to buy it, I will definitely make sure you can buy it at PDXCon 2019. No. No. If, there, if there's more than 50 people interested in buying this t-shirt, I will personally make sure that they're made for PDXCon. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Yeah. Just a t-shirt to commemorate Mr. 400. 
<laughs> but what will you do when you reach 500 hours? I will start a new Steam account. <laughs> <laughs> Why are people voting no? <laughs> if you don't want it, you don't have to vote. <laughs> That's not how voting works. The war it is does. a war. Against who? Persia. Oh, oh, oh we're actually a, oh, another a man on man war. I think that people are trying to pass the time with some warfare, keeping mm. the army tradition up, making sure they can produce good generals. And for they're the, keeping uh, the reflexes going. Yeah. Okay, they're actually moving into battle, but the Persians have a lot of people and a lot better morale. Though, we'll see. The war better... has uh, 135 in discipline, but the yep. two, almost two points in morale. Is, yep. I don't think it's going to be... Oh, wow. But they do have a better general as well. And they also have the disadvantage of the terrain. Yep. So... Uh, Mibor might, might actually pull this off. Yeah. They're reinforcing as quickly as they can. Even though it's like one stacks, yeah. it's... Oh, but uh, rolling that zero is not gonna help no. them. Wow, and uh, the morale is Yeah, and big. there collapses the front line. Yes. And now we're gonna see tons of stack wipes as small 1k stacks walks in. Yes. Now they're uh, pulling back. No. How did the pole land? Ah, oh. no T-shirt. Yep. I'll France. print one for myself. War in France. War in France. War in France. Yes, right. I saw that. Uh, <laughs> totally. Uh, but is it the sunset invasion? They are. They are attacking. Are they Netherlands. annexing the Netherlands? Are they exiled? The, exiling du them? It's Dutch war for independence. Oh, <gasps> but they're alone. So I'm 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 wondering if this is like correction of borders or something. I don't know. Is Prussia <laughs> attacking the Dutch? Are they trying to get in on this? It seems like that. Wow, they've snuck out province from the uh, French. Oh. So, oh, the question so this is, is this is probably the, the French were like you know correcting something and so on. And the Prussians just snuck in there because if you're at war with yeah. your overlord, you're not allies anymore, and they're not gonna defend you. Oh, they're giving the provinces to Brabant. So oh. I wonder what kind of deal has been struck yeah, here but it, with the it French. Is, it is probably... Might it be that Brabant will seize their provinces in the English islands or... Mm. Oh yeah, have, but the Brabant is here as well. Have the French finally decided which of the brothers they like the most? Because they have been in uh, the family of the French for almost yeah. 200 years now. And there we go, and they're pieced out. They only took... Ooh, oh, they are, they are pretty much killing the Dutch. Why are they killing the Dutch? Say, save the elephants. France at war with Prussia? Uh, oh! Oh, they were probably not happy with Prussia. No. Trying to snipe a bit, bit of the Dutch. But it seems like the Prussian has fallen back. Yeah. They wanted to die. The Dutch wanted to die. I, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, death help is not legal in Poland. We need more clarity. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously... Why, it, what? Swiss? Switzerland? <gasps> what? Okay, uh, look, the Prussians were demanding France to release stuff. What are they doing? They're doing a bunch of weird stuff. I guess we are seeing the uh, the doom of Europe. There's actually wars. Malacca is actually at a war with oh. France. Oh, the French Malacca and imperialist war. Malacca is independent. Why is not Australia attacking Malacca? I don't know. Can we? Uh, can we? Can we? Oh, hello. That's awkward. <laughs> 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 What, what is going on with our nation? <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> well, we were just crowning the, uh, crowning the emperor. Um, what emperor? Again. The, what emperor, emperor. the Holy Roman Emperor. Right. Yes. Um, so we are converted to Christianism, by the way. As Malacca. Oh, what? <laughs> it, is, it is going to happen. Not yet, but it is going oh, to happen. Oh, but you're working on it, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but we, it we might truly not believe be in the any fates. provinces left to convert once the French are done with you. Well, that's... Disappointing. Hmm, I wonder what's going on there. <laughs> you might come back to we, we should have a lot of allies though, so what's going on there? Um, looks... Uh, well, none of them are in the war. None of them joined the war. Looks very lonely. What? We, we had like four from our independence <laughs> war. Well, who, who, um, did you have it on paper? 
It seems well, like you have it's, a truce. Well, it rolled up very fast. So, so we you didn't have a truce with papers. Athenia, Mamluks, and Hormuz. So yeah, uh, so that, that those were the form so they probably declined or what happened? They have sold you or left you. Mm. We have Molly with us. Oh, you Hi. have to tell us about the war against Miwar. What happened yes. there? Uh, Miwar declared war on us. Well, first they insulted us, so we insulted them back because you scornful? Know, we, we yeah. can't let that happen. Yep, scornful. Good. Then they declared war on us, so we brought some friends. They were quite eager to join as well. We had some pretty damn big stacks down there, so we, generally speaking, wiped the floor with the Muir. Oh. We took the entire coast, uh, which made our name bigger after some province swaps, because, I mean, obviously that's what the game is all about, right? Yes. Who has the biggest name? No, yes. wh who has the biggest space between each Exactly, level. exactly. So, like, we are doing pretty well in that department, I would say. So okay. are you planning on attacking Miwar, uh, uh, being the aggressor? We've been in some negotiations with them because like, we don't want to kick them while they're down. We already no. beat them. Uh, so that will still be happening because they are currently at war. We yes. are waiting for that to finish. And there should still be some action after that. I don't want to say too much, but hopefully this is not the end. If I can say one more thing, there's one move we're particularly proud of, which started as a bit of a joke. I think I can say it because the game is pretty close to the end. Uh, when we lost our colonies in South America, we checked what's still available for colonization, and there wasn't a whole lot. There were some provinces up north near Greenland. So we colonized those two, if you go all the way north. We colonized those two, and we've been mooching trade from there for basically the entire game. We were mooching 11 gold per month from there. Now we are down to seven, but that's just from these two crappy colonies that we colonized as a joke. Okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, you are like, this is the ski resort of the Mali people. Basically, yeah. I mean, the famous ski resort of the Mali oh, people. And Everyone ice, heard and, of, and right? And ice fishing. Yeah. Nice. It's totally historically accurate. Yeah. Everyone and, read about uh, that you in know, the books. You, you get some fur from it, and yeah. And it was basically a joke. <laughs> the chat but is saying that you're an honorable man. You've won their hearts. Thank you. <laughs> you there is the, the peace. Yes. And I think very little changed hands. Check what is not cord. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yes. That one state, I think it is. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's one state. That's it. Miwar is slowly but surely And now Miwar is a war with Malacca. Yes. I think. Uh, so so Miwar was like, oh, I have an opportunity. So I am gonna piece out this and declare. Where, where is the Australian? Navy, in, why are they not invading this? So Kilwa might take this opportunity to move back to Africa because they just joined the war. Yeah, but on uh, Malaccan side because they're... Uh, exactly, Mal but Miwar has half of Africa. Oh, they might get Zanzibar back. Probably. Malacca? Yes. Yeah, what are you doing? You're in a war again. <laughs> are you in a war again? <laughs> yes, you just... Every time you pass by here, you're... <laughs> are you kidding me? No! I guess you should. No, oh, okay, they pissed out the. Oh, it was the other way around. Oh. They were giving stuff to you. Mm, so we have an agreement with Moar. The Moar. Moar, our former overlords. Mm -hmm. um, like, they are very weak. They've, they've lost a lot of wars recently, mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons why we were like, we don't want to be your vassal anymore. Like, we get dragged into wars, we don't want to get dragged into. So they decided, like, this land is actually not all that useful to us anymore. Um, we'll just give it to you. You send us some money in return. And that might that might be a better deal for us to be stronger against whatever will happen later. So that's the actual. Deal. Do you think you're gonna be able to, uh, you know, strike a deal with Mali so you can coexist on uh, the? Um, yeah, we're working on that. Yeah. Huh? Oh, May war a war again with Khmer, I think. Yeah. No, with Mali. So May are they? Is this a deal? Who is the aggressor? I think oh. Mali is. But it might be a dummy war because I can't see any troops. You have a 25k stack of Mali war troops, but mm -hmm. if Mali went to war, why haven't they sent their troops to the front line? This feels like a dummy war. They are moving now. That is really poor planning on their side. They I mean, like if since they're the instigators of this war, they yeah. should have been well oh, more prepared. Oh, here it is. Yeah. My war will seed. My war will oh. seed. My war will seed. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's a lot of land. Thank you. But he... 
Ah, oh, there he accepted it. Yes, but they didn't take all the good provinces. No, he took. So, oh, he wants to color this entire thing. But right? then he needs to take the promises from the Mamluks as well. Yeah. I think he, he said that the longest name wins. So he need if it actually if he does beat the the like, Mamluks. Yeah, the, I, he's gonna have like he's gonna have like an entire country in between each letter of his name. Yes. Who owns Austria? Australia? No, uh, Swiss. Switzerland. Uh, Switzerland is a march of the Palatinate. Do they actually have a player in there? No. No. That sucks. I'm just waiting for like this powder keg to actually explode. Malaya building queue. Check it out. They're building a lot of heavies. Yes. Uh, how many heavies do they actually have? Ooh, they have, they have 180 heavies and 410 light ships. Are they pirating? Maybe. Yes. No, no they're not. They're just trading a lot of money. Mm. Can Can you guys please tell Blond to stop shaking his leg? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have an emissary of the Italians. No, no France. France. Well, you well, have I mean, French guy... ideas, right? No, no, no. He's literally France. We're a little France. I'm, I'm France. All right. <laughs> um, so... Don't be offended. Don't attack Australia over this. Thank you. No, no. We no, don't have any ambitions overseas. But the uh, you were talking about the European powder keg and. And how did you? Oh no, you're right. You were standing here listening. Shit. <laughs> Yeah. The Italians and France want to go to war with each other mm. for honor, not to gain anything, because we're, we're allied the whole game. So we want to make a one on one the first. So, two. like all of the other wars that has been happening. Yeah, we were allied the whole game, so now we're going to get, get on a one on one. First, to get 40% 40, 40 war score through battles, get, uh, gets to humiliate the other one. So, we're just going to have a bunch of, like, you know, jewels, like. See who is stronger. Yeah, no. it, Italy had a duel with Rum. Yeah, and, and they won, won that very strongly. Yeah, so and they are now so the reigning champs of Europe. Yeah, yeah and, and that's why we're gonna have a duel with yeah. Italy. Uh, and then Rum won, won here. Uh, I don't know. So what we're seeing oh, now the Swiss is Canal is they're there. trying yeah. to crown themselves as the reigning champs of duels in the game. I think this is an interesting concept that you have one who wins and then everyone else gets to challenge that person. Yeah, uh, the Suez Canal, uh, the Mamluk players got around and asked for the fa uh, financiation of the Suez Canal, so the other players financed it. Oh. I mean, there are exciting wars because they get to crown the champion. Like, I would like to go around and say, like, we're the best nation there is. Yeah, and, and Italy is attacking the papers, the Pope. Why? Yeah. The Pope? And Prussia. Well, Prussia is uh, oh, protecting Oh, and them. the Bengalis uh, are joining. Papal and Mughals. So, ah, so the Pope probably intends to take Rome back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which one? Yeah, should? take capital Roma. Yeah, so but it's, it's an imperialist war. The Pope has no core on Rome. Ah, yeah, yeah, but Papal Italian Imperialist War. Yeah. Are you gonna help the Pope? Uh, oh, oh, I doubt it. Qing, Persia, Persia Mughals, Mughals, Khmer. Yeah, but that's not th that big of a Malaya. deal. Malaya. Yeah. yeah, now it's gonna go. So I'm gonna go back to France. <laughs> you should. I think you should, you know, be a good Christian. We're Protestants. The Pope excommunicated us. Oh, so that's true. All right, so, so you said there would be un un in interesting wars. This is what you got instead. The reconquest of the Papal State. Yeah. But the question here is, because the Germans... Okay, so Prussia is fighting the Papal States. Yes, because they're not Catholics. Yeah, and here's the problem. Are, the, are these proud Catholics gonna help? And I Prussia is actually out? This is interesting. They so all... Prussia actually peaced out. <gasps> and now France has joined. Wow. All right, so... But I mean, the pap like this war is over if they can reach the Papal States. Yes. Because they just sit you down and they have... That, that might be why the Palatinate has not joined the war, because... Yeah. And you can see the Italians are marching on yep. 
the Papal State. The Palatinates needs to be involved in this war now so they can stop this siege because they're yeah. gonna barrage this and they're gonna do a frontal assault as well. They're yeah. gonna take this as quickly and as they can. And then the war is over. This was a very short... You so know, I don't think that they thought this through. They involved all of the Eastern world for this. Yeah. But and it might be over even before they get there. Yeah. Because they, this is gonna take time. They're gonna transport troops over or walk the entire way. Jesus me, Christ. Me, meanwhile, all Italy does is, oh, okay, I'll just walk up here to your city and take it. So there's been a lot of negotiations going around the last hour or so, and I assume this has been a big part of this. And if this falls, oh, it and there it's taken. I mean, it's only four. What? Oh, yeah, because it's so many. So they have five years on them. Yes. It's so many uh, participants here. But after five years, yeah. it will be uh, like almost 90% war score or something. Yes. Uh, actually, let's check. It is... Uh, 35%? Uh, no, I, I'm looking on the wrong side, right? 11%. Plus 25% yeah. of holding the capital. Yeah. Oh, the Palatinate are in now. Oh! They've joined the war. I think and so has that's the Saxons a, no, that's as well. A sep that's a separate war. They're making their own separate war against France. Oh. I I thought we heard something about they was gonna have an honorable duel and the Germans were gonna guarantee that that happened. Uh, yeah, and now so but the Italians. We have, we have our new casters and they're ready to jump in because we need to tag out. Oh, it's right as the, Europe is about to explode. All right. Perfect. Tag me out. There we go, guys. Have fun. Ow! Ow! We're back in action. We are. The bus ride show has stopped at this station. The DDR bus. That's funny because, you know, it's like TV station. <laughs> I was thinking about that one. Coming up with that one for hours. Should we do power hour with Jake and Buzz? Power hour? Yeah, man, things things were too slow and serene last time. Oh, I gotta stop punching the table. <laughs> things too slow and serene. No, we're back. For those of you at home, his name is Buzz. My name is Jake. And we're here. We with, are. Uh, it's two hours. Do we get the two power hours? I don't know, but it's hey. It's two power hours. People have uh, been kind enough to start massive wars for us yep. the moment we arrive, which is cool. Ah, uh, we'll end them. <laughs> They'll go, oh god, these two guys are in charge. End the war, end, end the excitement. Cease hostilities. Well, I don't know, no, no, they're, they're not doing that at all. They're going in for the big fight over in Luxembourg. We have the French, the blue French, that is. We've got two of them, uh, two of them up for grabs. They, they have a pretty disastrous line against the Palatinate here. But they're choosing to reinforce defeat, and it could well work out for them. Uh, hundreds of thousands of Frenchmen force marching their way in. They want to defend Luxembourg. They, they want that storage place for their herrings and their clogs and everything that they've found on tour throughout <laughs> Europe. Uh, but now the Spaniards are on their way in as well. How much are they going to get involved? They're going to intercept some Prussians there. Oh, it's, it's really all going on. I, I'll so, admit, I was too busy privateering every node in the world to see who's on whose side. But yes, it's Spain, France and Italy versus the German bloc. Uh, nonetheless, the Germans are bringing a significant number into the fray here. They have what look to be the Palatinate cannons on the back row with the Saxon meat shields up front. Whilst they have the numbers, they are fighting a whole lot of Elan on top of that incredible Spanish morale they have. But also the Poles, who I have been told they have well and truly buried the hatchet, the Germans and their old German Teutonic friends that became Poland. They have truly buried the hatchet. And now the Poles are coming to aid their offense, defense? I, I didn't really pay attention to who started what war. So France, defending against the Palatinate, defending against Japan, defending against the Pope. Jenks, you make an enemy with the Pope, but you make the enemy of a lot of players, although they, Italy have put the Pope under occupation. They're breaking down on both sides, but uh, I'm seeing cannons on the now. front line for the Germans. That usually spells defeat. Cannons do a lot of damage, but uh, well, we're not seeing the, the numbers here. Oh, there we, go. we arrive just in time to see 11,000 casualties and the Germans forced to go packing. I mean, after all, they are fighting two Frances and a Spain. That's some kind of Spanish sandwich. It doesn't sound pleasant. It's, it doesn't sound pleasant at all, to be honest. And now they're taking advantage of the situation. They wiped out some of the most glorious and noble guards out there in the world. Couldn't quite catch their country, but they certainly looked noble. It's a mess. It, it is quite a mess. Let's, let's get the kind of global idea of what's going on here. Uh, Japan get their fingers into a lot of pies, and in fact, most of Asia, 
there's a gulf with uh, the Room and Revolutionary Ruthenia and of course Mamluks who don't seem to be getting involved in all this. Uh, does that mean it's going to be hard times for any of the Asians that want to get involved in this? It's a hard time for the Poles there, they're getting oh, caught oh, out oh, by oh, an incredible oh. stack of French and Catalonians. Uh, led by Jean-Antoine de Gallard, who has decided that uh, he wants no poles left in... Uh, this is Colne. No, this, this was Aachen once upon a time. So what is it all about? Why does everybody have to have to fight? Why must there be war and bloodshed? It's all over Luxembourg. Yeah, we talked about this yesterday. We had Let's hug. The, yeah, <laughs> they should hug it out. No, it seems today is not the days for uh, for hugs. Somebody is saying, how do you like that embargo now, Italy? I don't know if they were looking at it, but uh, Italy was not faring too well on the trade area. But, uh, oh, whoa. Man, I step away for two seconds Ooh. and stuff gets taken away. But, yeah, pirates have arrived. Wait, but they're pirates from the Mamluks. What? Man, what? Uh, there's, uh, just undo what I did there. Uh, <laughs> Australia in a war now. I thought I'd never see the day. What is going on, Aussie? So I, I, I've been sitting down for a couple of hours playing Australia, and <laughs> during that time, or Australia, which, which Australia? Australia, Australia, do you mean? Australian Australia, oh, of course, the one and only, of course, and uh, decided to transform it into a pirate state. <laughs> if we uh, if we go over to this, yeah, I'm just I'm just tearing away from the war just to plug the country that I was playing yeah, yeah, for yeah, a wee yeah. bit. Uh, privateer efficiency, jamming that up into <laughs> overdrive. <laughs> And uh, making mucho money off the uh, off the privateering, but now it seems we're involved in a war, the war against Italy, the Italian Australian. How dare the Italians attack what? Australia? Right, they have been put under lock and key on the sea, so it looks like they won't be sailing their way over. I want to keep an eye on that. I mean, my heart wants to, but for the benefit of you at home, I think the larger cause here is that that the Fritalians are fighting, or the Spanish sandwich. I, I, I kind of like that name. I'm gonna. Use it till it sticks. Italian sandwich it sounds Fritalian. fucking delicious. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, fritters are a thing, so for Italian, Italian mm. sandwich could go somewhere with that. Uh, but what's going to be happening here? In the end, it's uh, you tend to be. Uh, oh wow! Well, with revolutionary Ruthenia on the aggressor's side, it was for Luxembourg, yeah, right? I, I can't keep track of these wars. It's like. Three of them. Okay, so it's a Palatinate conquest of Luxembourg. They decided not to go for imperialism, because that means they would have to get to Paris, which is proving, you know, there's a French daisy chain of pain mm. here getting in the way. Uh, and they are against the Palatinate, the Prussians and Saxons, so mm. the, the Holy Trinity of Germanics, uh, some, some dependencies, and Poland, of mm. course. Uh, but we do not have... No, we do have Scandinavia. Cannot forget the, the Scandinavians. They're in. Look, they're even coming down to show their presence. I think they still rock Norwegian ideas. Yes, they do. So they're not gonna, they're not gonna bring the greatest of impact to the battle, but they do bring warm bodies to throw the front line. Now, speaking of bodies that have arrived, the Qing, with their first mm. strike team, have arrived to liberate the Pope. Now, uh, Qing themselves, they are still Tengri. I think. I'm willing to believe they're still tech. No, no, they're not. They're Confucian. Looks like they've actually harmonized with a lot of religions around. They don't mind anything, really. So, of course, they have no problem coming along and liberating the Pope, because the, the Pope's been stuck in a... And that's the Italian... Yes, right? the Papal Italian Imperialist War, oh, yeah. so... There we go. Now, I was hearing rumors. Let's observe this battle. It's happening as we explain this. I heard rumors that there was going to be this YouTuber versus YouTuber standoff, and people were going to respect the neutrality of that, you know? Yeah. It's, it's a sweet old one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, oh no, Mughals are uh, chasing defeat here. They realize they made a mistake. Oh, That's pure infantry just being shot to shreds in the uh, the hills of Franche Comte, Matthew could do it better. Unfortunately, he's not with us right now. He, he and I were just having a grand old time with the um, with the new pirate nation that we had established. I wonder, is the Pope trying to get his capital back? Is he eyeing up Roma, going, "This needs to be ours again"? Uh, well, I'll tell you what is happening. Uh, <laughs> the Italians have decided that they want to take care of the Australian fleet, and they're going to have an easy time because they're bringing heavy fleets. We only have our uh, our frigates, and the Japanese are not in this to help. Yeah, they're just fighting against Australia alone and not involving the Japanese. The Japanese appear apparently have pieced out and are leaving Australia to their own devices. What? How dare they do such What's a thing? That all? 
Now, Australia does have a significantly powerful heavy fleet of their own, but they're back in Australia. Ah, well, I said that, but they're, they are arriving now. Uh, it 16 could, heavies. Yeah, it could be that those, uh, those heavies are going to engage the Italians. Uh, okay, just more light ships up there. Uh, and show them who really deserves all the money in Venice. No. I want to extend my most heartfelt appreciation of the government of Rome, who decided that uh, at no cost other than transportation costs, they helped uh, flesh out the Australian, Australian Austria's navy. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, that assisted in the, the plundering of Italy for the war crimes they have done against the Swiss people. Very kind of Rome. That, that was Rome. very, very kind of Rome. They have our support. Indeed. And as we can tell, our support is really worth its fair bit. Oh, I don't know why we're over in Colombia, though. Not going there. No, we still, have, we still have the French. Uh, they're blasting through the Mughals. However, they now have the great strike force of Qing to, def to deal with. That is one strike. Now, they, they're pretty powerful folks. They're up on the front line. They have huge amounts of infantry combat ability. They also have a discipline bonus due to being banners. They can take a pounding, all while the royal mortars of the Mughals, with their 20% com uh, artillery combat ability, blasting away at the Italians. Now, Italians are responding in kind with their own units, but due to Italian ideas, their infantry have massive amounts of combat ability. Uh, however, numbers are playing their part here. They are getting thinned out. And Barwa is not... Well, it's going to be littered with many bodies of the West here. Lots of interception going on around us here. We can find that uh, Spain, Persia and Prussia clashing back in Luxembourg. I thought that had fallen, but perhaps they're, they're trying to liberate it. Does the siege ongoing? It appears it appears that it is not. But this oh, battle here... It's a big number. Good heavens. Those French, Italian... Oh, I was talking about Italian uh, ideas, but of course they don't have that. They mm. have uh, French ideas. There is a, there's two blue and there's true blue. Uh, oh. Poland announces the hug box of Asia is a disgrace to the world. <laughs> well, Poland's currently at peace, so they're going to go to war to fix that. Okay, we can see that there have been a lot of reinforcements for the western side of this. I think we're going to see cannons on the front line before too long, unless they can get some people to help them out. The Prussians are black flagged. I repeat, the Prussians are black flagged. There is... Uh, there's a bit of peace now between the Germanics and France. The Germanics are now just fighting against Italy. Why would this be? Uh, let's let's see what's going on. Why would you be at war with the Germanics? They're of course not involved in the strip. Oh, they're they're fighting on oh. the side of Italy ah. against Australia. Now, what, why oh, they would convenient. be doing this is, is beyond <laughs> me. But uh, Italy is okay. I. It's like that image of everyone declares war on everyone with all the arrows on your... It's just world war. The world is in flames, blue flames at that, which means they're super hot or super full of oxygen. I shouldn't have gone cold, down this thing. I'm just revealing my ignorance. Cold fire, I think. Cold fire? No. Okay. Or colder fire. Cold, mm, no, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way, but yeah, I'll... No, that sounds right. <laughs> How about that god? We, I, I need to get chill off. <laughs> I need to chill off. Just give me some cold fire. Yeah, there we go. So soothing. <laughs> Okay, so now, for reasons unknown, uh, Prussia have decided to side with the Italians. Uh, perhaps it was to go against the, uh, the Asian hug box, but for whatever reason, they're now involved in the Australian struggles. Uh, surely a mistake. Surely none of them would ever want to do this, despite the fact that we also privateered Novgorod, so I don't think Poland are too happy with us. I mean, it's but, just uh, money. You know, just come and get it, those 23 uh, Italian heavy ships. They had more, so it could be that the arrival of the Australians with their glorious Christoph Zumbach, a great Australian name, as all mm -hmm. of our uh, viewers down under can attest to. What time is it in Australia right now, anyway? If I had, uh, the opposite. The, the opposite. So uh, just take the time that it is right now, flip it upside Two, down. 19. So it must be uh, Nine, 60, 61 hour and <laughs> oh, yeah. two minutes. Jake, uh, oh. did you see the Germans and Poles switch sides? Are you ready to fight? Uh, the Germans and what now? I mean, we see Germans. We see, we see you together with Italy, though. Yes. You want to explain? I, I would love to have an explanation, but I think the folks at home need to hear it even more. Yeah. Step on in. So again, for the uh, for the for, for the benefits of those at home, who are you? Um, what, what Marcus, player from Poland. We didn't do much like the se last sessions, but we are, we are country again. You can see um, that. 
we teamed up with our old friends, the Germans, and said, let's all attack together France and there are like vassals in Spain, let's have a foyer even war. We did that, and then all of Asia declared war on Italy, France joined, and we were like, okay guys, we attack France, you attack Italy, we just want our foyer war. And then the Mughals sent their stupid armies into France, and France fought the whole world, and we were like, enough, we peaced out with France, and now we joined against Asia, and we will... I want to see one-hand devastation in each and every of the capitals. Oh, okay. Like stupid hack That right. is a bold claim. Now, why why do you feel the need to fight uh, Australia, though? I, I don't know. I think you are the war. You declared the war. Uh, I think you'll find that this is the Italian-Australian imperialist war, and we oh, suddenly they just fighting. caught us in all wars. Uh, we, uh, I, I can promise you, Polish the Polish fleet will not land in Australia. I can only. <laughs> I mean, good luck trying. <laughs> yes. But, uh, <laughs> but you heard it here first. One hundred devastation in every one. Of the uh, Asian hug boxes capital. That's at least the Polish goal. Is that we, a problem? We will... We're not the war leader, so Italy could peace out, but as Poland, that's all the goal. Alright, glad to hear it. Alright, best of luck in your yeah. endeavors. See you. See you. Stupid armies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs>